Welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. This is Andrew Kraft. Live Now, look there at our XRAD weather system. You can see that major storm system that is wreaking havoc on Northern California. Take a look at some of this video from social media users all over the Bay Area there. You can see the extent of the flooding, the torrential rains, uh, and now uh, many there in the Bay Area and beyond are trying to assess the damage. They're trying to clean it up as we speak. We're being joined right now by Fox 2 KTVU reporter Jesse Gary with the latest from Capitola. Jesse, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, who have you spoken to? What have you seen? Well, what we've seen is a lot of damage here along the Monterey Bay coast. The Monterey Bay is south of the San Francisco Bay area, but along the Pacific Ocean. This is where you would have uh, Carmel by the Sea, uh, the golf tournament is down here, etc. Capitola, like one of the uh, other small beach towns, took a, a big lashing this morning from high waves that were well above flood stage. Right now, they've been working all day to clear the street. Uh, this is what's called the village, the touristy area, or at least it, it was in better times, the touristy area where people will come during the summer. You have restaurants, etc., and this area is very popular. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, vehicles that are clearing. Most of the large debris already moved out of the way, but still they're trying to get the mud that's caking. This is called Monterey Avenue, trying to get the mud off the streets using a front-end loader and another piece of equipment. But for businesses such as Zelda's Restaurant, which is uh, blue with the white trim, that's a landmark. Recovery from this is going to take months, not hours. In Capitola, Thursday's storm surge has transformed the esplanade of the village district into mostly beach with few functioning businesses. Just kind of accepting the damage right now. It seems pretty severe. Dominic King's Bay Bar and Grill is barely accessible. Storm-driven waves pushed high tide four feet higher than normal and over the protective seawall. What we saw at that point was water coming out of the banks of Soquel Creek and inundating people's homes, inundating businesses in the Capitola Village. Strong waves also damaged Capitola's centuries-old landmark wharf and sent at least one piece of lumber into Zelda's restaurant. The beachside eatery now has plenty of beach, but no way to open its doors. Upwards of nine businesses are in the same boat. All the business owners around here are trying to kind of help each other out. Just kind of figure out what's going on. I know we have another week of rain. Um, so I think today is just about trying to see how bad things are. Shocking, yeah. I've worked here for um, almost two decades and I, ha I have not seen that before. During a morning news conference, Capitola city officials reiterating a mandatory evacuation order for the area remains in effect. We're also looking at the erosion on the cliff sides too, so there was some concern about some of the erosion. So we have crews out kind of taking a look at that and evaluating it. Back at the village, an angry ocean remains a threat to the businesses that have already been damaged and to the ones that are still intact. The type of damage that we're seeing just was worse than anything we thought was going to happen. And the businesses behind me have been red tagged for now. Engineers are looking inside to check the foundations to see if they are structurally sound or if they will have to be taken down. And word late today that the National Guard has mobilized a couple of soldiers and uh, a few high water vehicles up in Santa Cruz, which is the neighboring town just north of Cap Capitola. They've no mobilized those uh, men and women to help with the evacuation and the cleanup and restoration efforts up in Santa Cruz, which is another beach town that was hit by this storm uh, uh, yesterday. We're in a break right now as far as the weather. Uh, it's clear right now and, and clearing. It's supposed to be okay on Friday, but then another round of rain comes in over the weekend. We are live in Tapatola, California. We'll head back to you. All right, Jesse, uh, yeah, that was my, my question. Are, are they expecting kind of a, another iteration of, of all this? It seems like they are, uh, and but they seem to be uh, prepared. We appreciate your report. Stay safe out there. Will do. Okay, uh, in the meantime, we just want to let you kind of watch and look at some of the other uh, weather-related social media video that we've kind of compiled together just to get a sense uh, of how bad this was last night in the San Francisco area specifically. 
Okay, take a look uh, at some of this. San Francisco Fire Department, they put out this video. This tree fell on this car with people inside, I believe. And so that's uh, quite something you'd see there. Uh, fire and EMS working frantically to chainsaw the tree out of there. We also have uh, more and more video of some of these ski resorts that saw, you know, record winds. Obviously, some of the uh, slopes uh, and mountainsides had to be closed uh, because of all of this. Take a look at the wind there. This is in Olympic Valley. Dangerous conditions there. As uh, people are just now assessing the damage, like we were just speaking with Jesse Gary from Fox 2. This was kind of in the brunt of it there. We also have uh, more and more kind of cell phone video, uh, Snapchats, TikTok, social media video of all of this really wicked weather here. Take a look at some of the bands of rain uh, there whipping on the ground, water collecting right near the coast there. A lot of these wharves and piers were, were damaged. That was in Santa Rosa. This, the fire department there put out this video of them responding to a lot of the damage after this, what's being called a bomb cyclone plus an atmospheric river. We were t speaking with some of our meteorologists yesterday about what was in store. You can see a lot of trees down, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people without power. So we'll make sure to give you any more updates once we get them to see uh, what this system is going to look like as it moves even further inland there.